and welcome to Prime TV. I'm Alicia Fernandez. Well, today we have with us the director of Daughters of Mother India, Ms. Vibha Bakshi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Ma'am, uh, my first question to you is, what were the challenges you faced as a director to make Daughters of Mother India? I think uh, the uh, biggest uh, challenge that we had is what would be the intention of the film. Mm -hmm. And we were very clear that we wanted to make a responsible film. Mm -hmm. This issue is very, very sensitive and close to everybody. And we said we can't leave the country burning. Instead, we have to light lamps of hope on this issue. So the challenge was first to get what kind of film we wanted and the next biggest challenge was access and access to the police. And uh, roughly how long did you take to make this uh, particular movie? We began filming right after the uh, rape and uh, murder of Nirbhaya and uh, this film is about what happened to India after the night of the rape and murder and uh, we took about a year and a half to complete this film. Mm -hmm. And um, how much efforts, like, uh, were there any efforts ever done in order to bring this movie in front of the society? Um, you know, a, a filmmaker, that's what a filmmaker wants out of a documentary, that it is able to reach much more people. In this case, people took the film forward. Okay. You know, our uh, film, just uh, the intent and emotion has resonated with the people of India and they took it forward and today if we are in 200 schools it's because of the people. Today the police across the country are screening the film to gender sensitize the force. Again I say um, you know it's a movement that uh, people took forward. Today also your movie was screened at ESV 2015. Could you tell us about the response that you received here? You know, I had a 9.30 a.m. slot. Exactly. So I said, you Early know what, morning. nobody is coming for this film. So I said, if 20 people come, so be it. Happy to report it was a full house and my last seat, uh, there was an uh, older woman who came in and I gave up my, I gave up my seat for her. Oh. So I guess people want change. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, any like your movie screen at you know various places so any particular one response that you received and it was very uh, touching to your heart something like that um, any particular response I think my screenings with the police has been mm -hmm. quite emotional any particular comment that you received yes I, I think first uh, when I saw um, a thousand police officers in Hyderabad at IMAX watch it it was overwhelming because I really couldn't believe that my toughest critics had embraced the film and uh, there was one officer who came to me and said Didi, bohat kaam baki hai. and I just knew that that police officer is going to be the change so every screening mm -hmm. I know that amongst that crowd somebody is going to light the flame of hope and that is what makes it so satisfying that's what makes this whole journey worth it and sometimes when I get really tired and you have a screening where people come forward and say we will be the change that's when you know you know what I'm ready for the next round yeah that's really nice um, Ma'am, in today's world, women in every means are equal to men. But in this profession of filmmaking, somehow there is this uh, stereotype that women cannot be a good filmmaker. What is your take on that? Well, I got the National Award <laughs> for Best <laughs> Director. So, um, this was my first film out of India. I was making films uh, for the US network. So, uh, well, according to my experience, you know, uh, the audience has been extremely receptive and uh, I'm really grateful for the National Award. Um, not because the National Award is a personal triumph. Mm -hmm. It gave the issue of violence the deserved attention. Mm -hmm. Because after the National Award, a lot of doors opened. Corporates came forward, schools came forward, embassies came forward. And that's what we need. We need more people to come and say, you know what, we take on this issue, we'll screen the film, somebody's going to change. Do you think that uh, with this move, it's going to revolutionize most of the Indians? Like, you know, like a person sitting in its home. When this movie will reach over there, what will be that impact according to you? My film is a very small film mm -hmm. and it has no solutions or answers. But what it makes you do is it makes you think. Exactly. It makes you think, what can you do 
to bring that change and I truly truly believe that change comes from home mm -hmm. right when we put the blame that that police officer didn't do this and the judiciary isn't doing this you know what it's all a reflection of our society exactly. right so if we have those biases if we have those views and those values they are a reflection of the same thing. So why not let's just look at ourselves, change as a society, and then everything else will fall in place. But let's look at ourselves first, right? And it's all from the home. It's really inspiring. Uh, what are the qualities one needs in order to become a successful director, according to you? I'm in a struggling field of documentaries. So uh, as a documentary, uh, D director, you just have to have the passion and commitment because um, there is a constant struggle for finance, constant struggle for viewership, distribution. Um, there's just so much that's around it, and I really feel that unless you don't have that commitment and passion, you're not going to make it. Uh, Ma'am, coming to my next question, do you think formula films are ruling a larger section of the society as compared to that of social interest movies? Absolutely. And why do you think it's a reason uh, I, like it's, that? it's a pity that, uh, you know, that uh, stories which are so compelling in the documentary world don't get the attention. Exactly. It is, uh, it's actually very unfortunate. And I'm happy to say that uh, Viacom 18 mm -hmm. has taken up the initiative. Okay. Our uh, film Daughters of Mother India will be screened on prime time or around the death anniversary of Nirbhaya and uh, they are translating the language uh, they're, tra they're translating the film in six regional languages so I really hope that this initiative um, will open the doors for many more filmmakers who have many compelling stories to tell uh, ma'am I just heard of recently about your respect daughters hash of mother India the hashtag could you tell us more about that you know, as I said, there are, uh, this in this journey, I have met incredible people who've taken the movement forward. And um, there is a company called uh, Weber Shandwick, and uh, the CEO is Valerie Pinto, who has taken this initiative of collecting a million pledges, which is hashtag respect daughters of mother India. And we really hope that this becomes a people movement by even just tweeting or um, you know doing the hashtag respect daughters of mother india we know you're listening and we know you want to be part of change uh, coming to a very sensitive issue of censorship uh, do you think that censorship can affect freedom of expression yes um, it, Have you encountered any particular incident like this? Yes, I think uh, it can affect uh, the creativity, um, but um, fortunately for me, I had uh, no issues uh, with the uh, censors or the boards, and um, I guess, uh, you know, we made a responsible film and we did the and we did the responsible things to get access i did not use any back doors i was like either you give me access and give it to me in the right manner otherwise we don't want to be part of it so i i did not face um, any issues and my film did not go through any cuts uh, Ma'am, like when you talk about uh, any director's dream, any particular role model that you follow right from your childhood? There are so many people that I can say. I would say the ones that I respect the most are the ones who remain committed. You, um, it's a long struggle, it's a long fight and you have to stay on course. And so I would say anyone in any field who shows that determination and commitment has my respect. Any particular name that you would like to take about the director? There, there are too many. The list will go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ma'am, before we wind up, could you please give a short message to the viewers and to the people who are looking forward to this? My message is, is small, but it is strong, which is in any fight in life. Hope is what you cling on to. And in our fight against gender violence, we have no choice but to succeed. This is a fight that we have to win. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. What a yeah. pleasure. Thank you so much. But tell us about your experience at IFI 2015. Uh, till now, I had a very good experience. Uh, yesterday, I saw two good movies, Labyrinth of Lies and Mustang. Mustang was very remarkable. And today, I'm looking forward to look at Code because it's our entry in Oscar. Although I had, haven't got a ticket, I'll just go through Rush Q. Any inconvenience that you have found at IFI 2015? 
नॉट एक्जैक्टली आई विल से इट्स माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आई डिन बुक बिफोर सो आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग अराउंड फॉर रूम्स दैट्स इट नथिंग बिकॉज दे हैव ऑर्गेनाइज एवरी थिंग वेरी प्रॉपरली एनी पर्टिकुलर सेंसरशिप इशूज एट नाउ डेज सेंसरशिप इज गोइंग ऑन ओवर यर सो वट इज योर टेक अबाउट सेंसरशिप आई थिंक इन इंडिया सेंसरशिप शुड बी अ लिटिल सेंसिबल दे आर नॉट सेंसिबल दे डोंट नो वॉट टू सेंसर एंड वॉट टू नॉट बिकॉज इफ आई आई लाइक दे वॉन्ट एवरी थिंग टू बी शोन इन लाइक एक्शंस लाइक नॉट एक्जैक्टली इन एक्शन बट नॉट डायरेक्ट एक्शन दे सेंसर एवरी थिंग दैट इज इवन इफ द कट इज नेसेसरी द डायरेक्टर हैज टू गेट ए सर्टिफिकेट देन देन इट्स नो पॉइंट आई थिंक दे शुड बिहेव लिटिल सेंसिबल Thank you so much. Sir, your name? Uh, I am I am Janaki Raman. You're from? I'm from Chennai. Uh, so could you please tell us about your experience at IFI 2015? Uh, this is the third time I'm attending uh, IFI. Uh, as I'm, uh, you know, a uh, couple of years back, I completed my uh, direction course from Chennai. Um, as we are, uh, you know, I'm attending here because it, it, I'm considered this place is like a, you know, window of uh, the world of cinema. So where you will get the, you know, you will get watch uh, uh, many international and award-winning movies. Uh, so it's a, uh, uh, I'm happy to be here to get exposure, like exploring the world cinema. Uh, uh, it's something like you know, uh, I'm able to understand the. Uh, Uh, current uh, it's a very contemporary way of uh, uh, expressing your ideas uh, through the cinema as compared to the previous ifis what is special about this ifi according to you uh, this year as i said like you know i am able to watch the current uh, movies uh, uh, this time but uh, because since it's a fourth day here uh, i'm still waiting to watch uh, you know uh, what are the movies i watched here i was not that excited but i'm still waiting you know i have a few more days has any inconvenience caused to you over here being at it sorry i didn't get any inconvenience caused to you you know each and every year i'm i'm comfortable being here i'm you know, happy with the service and everything you know facilities i'm happy with that Ma'am, your name? Rina Jain. You're from? Goa. Okay. Ma'am, can you please tell us about your experience at IFI 2015? Yeah, it's awesome. All the movies which I am watching, it's really wonderful. So we are having a great time. What are the movies that you're looking out today? Uh, I'm just going for this two ten show. It's Yom Yom. Yeah, it's a Israel friends movie. Okay. Yom Yom. It's a retro, retro age movie. Has there been any inconvenience caused you for this time, IFI 2015? no not at all absolutely not at all any particular message that you want to give to uh, the viewers who have not come in for ifi till day okay it's a um, ultimate experience so you should come and have it yeah thank you so much ma'am yeah so can you please tell us about your experience at ifi 2015 always good very you know, nice experience being in um, here in goa it is always been um, highly we are motivated we will be motivating uh, since we have um, watching um, great film uh, international film so we are enjoying only um, for two days i came here uh, tomorrow i'll be leaving so it's a great pleasure here enjoying having fun uh, so could you please tell us about uh, every actor has to has certain role model in their life who is your role model uh it to keep changing <laughs> because earlier when i was a kid uh, my role model was mahmood saab then it become um, dr lagu and then nasiruddin shah then al pacino and robert de niro i am something like that okay uh, right now which movie are you looking forward to is um, so life of love as well, that film i think it is in um, 930 i have been uh, i have heard about this film in mami festival bombay so i was looking for to see that film it's very it's a philosophical i think uh, they say that a uh, practice makes a man perfect so yeah, yeah. in order to uh, become work for a particular role how much practice is required according to you practice uh, as such i don't think uh, there is a, there should be a research work 
what the character um, uh, have background and how he will react and how your experience and how your experience pouring to the characters and the characters and you are the same but we have to imagine and with the reference of his um, the characters the history and the social circumstances the economical and political and cultural so do you think formula films are ruling more in the society as compared to social interest movies yeah 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 and why is that so what is the reason this, this is the problem of india because uh, our literacy rate is very low mm -hmm. and uh, the main second thing is our tradition we always proud of our tradition but i don't uh, feel so uh, we have uh, created a very discriminated society throughout the uh, 2000 3000 years so uh, we are paying for that i understand uh, so do you think imposition of censorship affects the freedom of expression yeah yeah of course but it is both the way exactly. because our society is not um, that much um, appropriate and uh, the iq level is not that much ap uh, appropriate so uh, they will uh, think something else for instance 20 years ago there was a film called bandit queen mm -hmm. and people watching and they are enjoying the rape exactly uh, but uh, where in uh, no, out of india everybody is uh, get so getting so emotional about and uh, they get agitated but in india they, because the starving of sex and <coughs> <laughs> the um, uh, oppressed uh, feeling is always there and uh, uh, slow by uh, day by day i think people will get educated and it that feeling will be vanished i hope uh, and so uh, another question is about uh, women culture of women culture of cinema this is a new form which is introduced in ifi 2015 which helps and provides um, a platform to indian women filmmakers so what is your take about that uh this is i think i am not um, um, familiar with okay. these terms and uh, this uh, I, i didn't see that uh, much okay. but uh, we have been uh, producing um, uh, great ladies uh, directors um, uh, sai paranj pe and many of them it's um, it's good and uh, it's a very good just very good uh, uh, platform for them uh, before you leave sir my last question to you is any particular message that you would like to give to all the young people young filmmakers and young actors who want to get into this industry yeah 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 they, they, i just uh, wanted to tell them that they should attend the classes and <laughs> attend the film festivals uh, around and um, just see our society uh, um, uh, very sensitively and uh, uh, make a film out of that uh, any expression should be uh, should be for express something to give the society and uh, i think uh, this kind of festival uh, will um, encourage them much thank you so much thank sir you. thank you so okay ma'am according to you how much time does it ideally take to make a market a movie i don't uh, think we can put a very precise uh, time frame um because it really depends on how much time the film takes to be made uh what is important though i think is to market it ahead so before the film is finished uh i think it's important that while it's still in production um the producer should be in touch uh, should be networking i think it's one of the most important things with film festivals distributors sales agents uh to talk about the film and to create an expectation of the film before it comes so to to uh attract the attention of all the key uh partners into the let's say after process of a film before the film is finished um so i guess it starts yeah it starts before the film is finished and then i guess it's important for the film to be present in uh various works in progress uh and workshops at international different festivals and markets for the film to be seen uh to be talked about and try to attach uh sales agent early in advance and then once the film has a sales agent hopefully then again the marketing uh starts from there with the launching platform of the first film will the where the festival is going to have its uh world or international pr premiere and take it from there with film festivals distributors etc so uh, ma'am according to you which movie is uh, easier to market a uh, independent film or commercial movie <laughs> <laughs> well i think uh it really depends on the film i think if the film is good 
uh, if the film is really good, it's I think the easiest thing to market because if a film is commercial, it might be uh, more easily adapted for the distribution circuit, so for a theatrical distribution, TV distribution, um, because it's easier to be appealing to the audience. Um, and a smaller independent art house film can be uh, more easily marketed in film festivals. But I think that in both cases, if a film is not very good, it's difficult to market a commercial film and an, an independent production. So I think key market, key point is for the film to be good and to um, have someone to market it as well. Because would, I think one of the most important things to say is that very often you have very, very good productions, uh, especially I'm talking in independent cinema, um, and if the people behind them uh, haven't had the time to market it well, and maybe the film has been shown in some small festivals around the world uh, and not been taken care of the good way, then very often uh, it can be bad for the film and the film can be good. So it's both things are important, but key thing for the film to be good, I guess. Uh, Ma'am, any particular experience of yours when your movie, it didn't go up maybe, and the one which you marketed didn't make it to the screen, anything of that sort? A film that didn't go well? Yeah, uh, with even after marketing it. Of course, uh, because the reality of the market is pretty tough. So uh, I'm handling very uh, small and independent uh, films. So of course it can happen uh, for the film to not uh, be a successful film in theaters, for example, yes. Um, in such uh, situations, what should a sales uh, agent do? I think it's important for a sales agent to know from the start uh, the potential of the film. Very often we know, uh, it's not what we wish for, but we know that the reality of the market means that a film may be very successful in the festival circuit mm -hmm. and not that successful in theatres, mm -hmm. for example. Um, but uh, with what is very important to know is that I believe for very independent productions, uh, very often a successful festival career mm -hmm. can be uh, the key point for a later on uh, sales potential. So it might be hard to sell it uh, in the beginning, but if the film has a successful festival career and has awards and has visibility in festivals, it can be important to uh, sell it afterwards. Um, Ma'am, have, uh, have any of your movies faced any censorship issue? And do you think imposition of censorship affects freedom of expression? Uh, until now, no, but yes, I really believe it. I think that uh, censorship issues, uh, the censorship issue is very, very important. We see uh, in many countries, I mean, even in India, we see uh, very good productions that can be uh, censored for a couple of years. We have uh, many examples abroad of people who... Uh, uh, who are held in prison, their films are not shown, uh, their films are censored from their country and have a major appeal abroad. So I think it's very, very important um, uh, for this to be abolished and I think uh, especially through the film media, uh, freedom of expression is very, very important and that's why, uh, yes, Definitely, at least if uh, the film faces censorship in its country, it's very important for it to travel abroad and get the importance it should get, at least at an international level. And uh, ma'am, do you think this year IFI has introduced women culture of cinema, a section which will help and provide a platform to Indian women filmmakers in the society? So do you think this will be a good move from the... Central Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, Government of Definitely. I think it's very, very important uh, to promote this. I think it's very important for um, women uh, directors to, uh, to be seen. Uh, and again, I don't think it's a, it's a gender thing. I think it's important to put it in front, but I don't think it's a gender film. I think that man, woman, exactly. if your film is good, it will be seen and should. Okay, ma'am, before you leave, my last question. Any message to the young people who are looking forward to get into this profession of sales? 
in which one when in filmmaking, filmmaking, filmmaking filmmaking i think uh, i know that very often it's very hard uh, for especially young and very very independent uh, productions and therefore filmmakers especially to get the funds to make their film i think it's very important if you have something to say to keep trying and to make it work even with the toughest means uh, but i think the the effort should be done definitely Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.